Every once in a great while, we're given an opportunity to do something incredibly special. And recently, one of our members of our foundation group uh, had the opportunity to come to our board with an amazing proposition. Back when Disneyland was built, one of the things that Walt always had done was miniatures. He had miniatures built of Disneyland before they even pounded the first nail. Prior to that, Walt had a miniature railroad that ran in his backyard, one-inch scale live steam. Before that, he built miniature scenes, um, like of uh, Granny's Cabin from uh, So Dear to My Heart. And Walt had a plan to build miniatures and put them on board a, a specially built railroad and take them across the country on a tour. He called it Disneylandia. And that was way before the idea of a themed amusement park. So it was always about miniatures with Walt. And way back in his childhood, Walt came from a family of working class folks. A lot of kids in the family, he had his three older brothers, his younger sister. And frankly, there wasn't money for toys. So later as an adult, I think Walt was able to revisit the part of his childhood that was work, not play, not toys. So as an adult, Walt found in the miniatures the pleasure of play with toys. And one of the things that he loved in developing Disneyland were miniature buildings and storytelling sets that was comprised in an attraction called Storybook Land that sits at the base of where Casey Jr. runs in Disneyland. And it was one of Walt's very favorite attractions. Waythel Rogers, uh, Harriet Burns, uh, my father, Roger Brogy, they all worked on developing these incredible scale models from Pinocchio, from uh, Wind in the Willows, from Cinderella, and so on. And one of the sets in this amazing miniature boat ride through Walt's stories was a French village that was set at the outside of Cinderella Castle. Half-timbered walls, uh, leaded glass windows, uh, the thatch roof, all in beautiful detail, all handmade by these wonderful Imagineers. Well, over the years, the, the elements of weather took its toll on these buildings, and they decided to replace them with fiberglass and more durable materials, and those original buildings got set aside. Well, kind of as a miracle, somebody said, you know what, these were part of Walt's legacy. We set them aside and then donated them to our Carrollwood Foundation. Now, it was obvious the weather had taken its toll on it, so it needed the skills of an artist, a craftsman, to restore them to their original luster, what Walt would have had as a standard of perfection. And one of our folks, Rob, has taken this on as a task to totally revamp these buildings restore them to their original beauty. When this project is completed, when the buildings have been restored, they will go on display at Walt Disney's Carrollwood Barn, which is located at the LA Life Steamers area of Griffith Park in Los Angeles. And the barn is open to the public every third Sunday and every month year-round. And the good news about it is that the parking and the admission is absolutely free making the Disney Barn the only free Disney attraction in the entire world. And we'd love to have families come out and enjoy the displays and, and attractions, Walt's original combine coach, which has now been restored and on display, uh, Ollie Johnson's depot from his backyard railroad, and the barn itself is filled with commemorative materials from Ward Kimball, Ollie Johnson, Roger Brogy, and of course Walt. So it's a great experience to go to the barn. And then in addition to that, will be this display of these wonderful buildings. And they're in the, they're in the midst of miniature railroad. 
So it's all about miniatures and Walt's passion for precise scale models. And when the project is completed, a cart is planned that will be able to transport this village in the display area around Walt's barn. And we're hoping that you, as someone who loves Disney, who loves to preserve history, and particularly Disneyland history, these are artifacts, they're, they're legacies of Walt. So if you want to get involved, visit the website, Small Worlds of Walt.com. Check out the website. Come and visit Walt's Barn in Griffith Park. You can pick up a piece of literature there or go on the website and request information. But I hope you'll get involved in joining us in making this a reality to make sure these buildings are not lost forever and they're restored back to their original beauty.